you, that was really enthusiastic. That, that just feeds me even more. Yeah! 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 Uh, quiet! Enough, enough, enough. Quiet! Thank you. So, um, my name is Mac Holiday. I celebrate holidays, all the days on YouTube. And so you might, may or may not know me, but to, you may infer from that information why I'm holding and drinking this particular drink. Can anybody guess? Martini. 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 Well, it's, yes, it's a martini, but dirty. Why, no, no. Why am I drinking this drink? Because it's National Martini Day. Yes! Yeah. That's what it is. That's right. Mm. Ah, delicious. Uh, who knows what the uh, basic ingredients? Only two in an original classic martini. Tell me. Yeah, I'm, that was very good. We got some drinkers here tonight. Right. Yes. So on Sunday is a holiday that ladies have been just making lists about all year long and they're really excited about it. The holiday is called Stupid Guy Thing Day. That's on Sunday. Yes, you'll notice no applause from me on that holiday. Um, I'm just curious, anybody in the house, ladies specifically, uh, have any stupid guy things you wanna get off your chest? No? That's okay, I don't care so much about the live people, I care much more about the YouTube people. So on YouTube, please comment down below all the stupid guy things that make you crazy. Oh. By the way, would there ever be a stupid women thing day, do you think? Never. Yeah, why? Because women can do no wrong. This is true, and it would be deemed yeah. sexist. But you can bash on the guys all you want, so I'm changing that. I have a list of women bashing holidays I've been working on. So I will uh, share that with you maybe sometime soon. So we have Sam here, Sam Argier. Let's hear That's it. That's right, yeah. yeah. Great yes. to be here. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy to yes, be here. Yes, you have some brothers in the audience. There's Thank Mike you. and Paul. Can you raise your hands? Yeah. Woo! He's got a yeah. really big thumb. Really big thumb? Yeah, really big thumb. Are you guys jealous that he's up here with me and you're not? No. You're I not? Guess. Okay, that's okay. I don't yeah. take any offense to They were that. happy to have me do it. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good to know. It's all good. So you guys are a third generation in Las Vegas real estate developers. That's right. Um, that's exciting. Yeah, my grandfather was in real estate. My dad is, who's here as well tonight. My oh, mom really? and dad, the yeah. Oh, really, dad's here? Yeah. Wow, yeah. I like it. So, uh, good, it's, good. Uh, and crazy thing, you know, since we're downtown, my great uncle Joe named the Johnny Carson down the street. If you know the Johnny Carson Hotel, the so hotel. he knows. That's so yeah, right. I like it. So a family, lot of history. Yeah, a lot of history, and that's what we're all about. So uh, we wanted to work together, my brothers and I. We've been coming to downtown Fremont East, the Arts District, for the past ten years. And you guys are now having a new passion yes. project. It's called Urbanity. Urbanity does, apartments. Like, everyone with me in the count of three, just say Urbanity. It's so much fun. Urbanity. One, two, three. Urbanity. urbanity. Yes. It's Tell them about this new passion project. Yeah, it's just a few blocks down, 11th yep. and Stewart, with eight units, and basically we saw a need for housing in downtown. There's great high rises, like here we're in the Ogden, there's the, uh, the Jewel, uh, Newport Lofts, but we understand that not everybody might be looking for a high density high rise. Maybe it, not, it might not fit into everybody's budget, so what we found is, a, is an older building, built in 1948, wow. but we are renovating it and reusing the space to preserve the history of downtown Las Vegas and really make a killer place. We, we are renovating it. We're going to have a great community uh, area. And it's also a great location. It's four blocks away from Atomic Liquors. You can walk to everything downtown. Nice. So it's How all about... How fun is that? that fun. I tied it into the Martini Holiday, Atomic Liquors. So oh, it's all good. good. Maybe we should all go out afterwards to Atomic and get a Martini. I don't know. I'm just saying. Are you paying? So, um, uh, so you just mentioned community because yeah. yes. it's amazing. But you guys are also kind of um, expounding on that just within urbanity. Can you share? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and again, the sense of why we did this is, you know, we grew up in the 90s. Here. So I mean, I, it seemed like every hotel was being imploded. So we yes. wanted to do the opposite of that: is take a historic building and make it new again, and, mm -hmm. and totally revamp it and revitalize it. And yeah, the community aspect's great. It's a great layout. It's two uh, fourplexes, so there's four units in each building, and then there's a common area that we're going to have a gas grill in. We're going to have a bocce ball court, maybe even a big beer pong court. We're a lot, a lot of options, and uh, so it's a great place everyone can come together as a community, mm -hmm. socialize, bring their friends over, and we're going to be launching late August, early September. It's going to be a great kickoff party. We'll have beer, we'll have music, we'll have food. So come on down, Urbanity Apartments. And my, my friends at Banger Brewing are doing yeah. the beer. That's awesome. We're They're getting so kegs good. from them. Yeah, Fresh, handcrafted beer. I love it. Well, thank you so much great for being here. here. We are very thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.